Welcome back to another episode of the Crypto Serpent. And if you do enjoy the videos, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. I have a very, very interesting report to kick us off today. So Ripple's XRP stands to gain with crypto payments adoption at 45% by 2023. Now, 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 before you start to listen what you want to hear, crypto payment adoptions at 45% by 20, 2023, not Ripple's to be 45% of all crypto payments, okay? Just be mindful of that. Just want to make sure you guys are aware of that. But basically, this particular article that was published is um, talking about the increasing cross-border payment needs, higher transaction fees, and lack of standardization in global payments and, and prompting the move towards crypto. So it's a very, very positive, uh, positive report. Now, they did say that there will be 200 billion transactions by 2025 from 121.5 billion in 2020. So a major, major shift, right? So we're, we're talking about 79 or well, 78.5 billion more transactions happening globally. And that number only set to go higher and higher and higher. Now, this is when it comes really, really important in your crypto portfolio, in your strategy, in your investments to look for things that have longevity, that are solving real world problems. There is a specific reason why this particular cryptocurrency is, is the only cryptocurrency that is mentioned daily on this channel. And it's not because like, um, you know, an activist or, uh, you know, gigantic uh, uh, believer like, you know, to the point where I'm blinded, right? So that, that all, all I see is XRP. Really, really want to clarify that because the main reason that XRP is on this channel daily, day out, is because it solves the biggest problem, which is instant liquidity across the globe. Let's be very, very clear, because yesterday I told you no emotion, zero emotion towards your portfolio, towards a company, towards founders, towards everybody, right? I'm here because this solves the biggest problem. And I want you to be aware of it, to understand it, to find out what I'm finding out on a day-to-day -day basis. But let's be very clear, right? This current, this cryptocurrency called XRP, this particular blockchain, is looking to solve the biggest problem that there is out there. And so for that is the reason why it's on this channel day in, day out. If that, if that ever changes, then you best believe that I would be out and would not hold any more XRP. And two we would go look for the next uh, um, the next big opportunity that is looking to really disrupt the world but be very mindful right don't get caught don't get caught out in being a uh, a, to a believer of something to the point where you don't see negatives or you don't see potential risk that is the worst thing that you can do for your portfolio and that is the worst thing that you can do as an investor right because all you see is it, it going well you got to see both sides that's why when we look at the charts towards the end of each video, we talk about the potential going up and the potential going down because there's always a potential to go down. A new company comes out, a new disruptor comes into, into the game. So be mindful, right? Make sure that your mindsets are strong throughout this bull period. XRP Validator operates out of the former nuclear bunker in Sweden. So this is very interesting. I found that pretty cool. And XRP Validator has chosen a rather unusual spot to secure the XRP ledger from. So as part of the commitment to ensure long-term health and stability of the ledger, Toad Labs is one operating a validator from Pinion White Mountains, a former nuclear bunker 30 meters beneath, beneath the streets of Stockholm, Sweden. That's pretty cool, right? That is so cool. The validator runs on a bare metal server featuring a 3.4 gigahertz CPU, 64 giga, um, uh, gigabytes DD4 RAM. That's, that, that is incredible, right? I mean, that is really 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 cool like sci-fi movie kind of thing you know like going into the mountain um to to see that right but it just goes to show you know the depth of levels that they're going to when it comes to securing uh securing the network and securing um you know the stability of the validators but i found that really 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 fascinating and i don't get in too much into the technicals um as you guys are well aware i'm not a technical like person around you know like the little nitty gritty of the blockchain but i do like to know those things now i do highly encourage you to check out either on twitter or linkedin i do want you guys to check out the latest video that has come out from ripple i am not going to spend here two minutes um just for you to watch the ripple video on the crypto serpent channel Go check it out. It's a really, really, really cool commercial that has just recently been launched. Now, Ripple to support solar energy projects to reduce crypto industry's carbon footprint. Now, we spoke, we've been speaking about this since March. Green, green. When you're doing your research on companies to 
become part of your portfolio, especially 2022, 2023, make sure, be 100% confident that that company project has some form of green element to it. And Ripple is just putting its green to another level. By this, with this particular partnership, it's just another step towards a clean energy future, right? There's a big talking point in the crypto space, and that's why Ripple is head of the game when it comes to being green, right? But make sure, not just for XRP, but for other projects as well, that you make sure that you check the green aspect of those blockchains. Now, a very, very cool article that came out on the 16th of September that I do encourage you to check out on Ripple.com is Facts and Fiction Debunking the XRP Ledger Misconceptions. Very, 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 very good article and a good video to go with it. Can, you know, new XRP can be added to the ledger. The truth, the myth around the hidden fees, the blockchain can't be decentralized, stable and secure. All of it, right? Very, very good article. Please take the time to learn this stuff. It will help you and your portfolio. Now, Robinhood faces new regulatory threats from the SEC. The SEC is coming after everybody and Robinhood has appeared on the radar of SEC. We'll keep an eye out on what that looks like. Now, Ripple accused the SEC of unwillingness to respond to inquiries in court case. So Ripple has accused the SEC of unfair treatment because the US regulator does not want to admit or deny the facts presented by the company in the course of the legal proceedings. Like I said, it's brutal, it's fast paced. Let's see where let's see where we're going, but Ripple is coming and they're coming hard for them. Now, SEC Chair Gensler, 49 proposed regulations, dry the hedge fund managers, brokers, and more. He's he's going for it, right? He wants he wants regulations. He wants regulations. He's he's doing everything and anything that he can to get as much, as much of the industry regulated as possible. Right or wrong, would love to know what you guys think of how Gary Gensler is doing at the SEC since he's taken over his role in March. Now, from a price action point of view, when we look at the breakout expected and where we're going and how, how we're moving to, towards that, we will cover that off today. When we look at the, the wave, right? So wave five, we spoke about that yesterday. Wave five is starting and it's going to be pretty, pretty exciting to watch what, what, what goes on there. When we look forward, right? And some of you do ask, you know, like, hey, what if I held for like nine years? What would that look like? There are pros and cons to this concept, right? In nine years, new competitors can come out. In nine years, something can happen to the company. In nine years, the blockchain can be hacked. Don't think about things in nine year terms, right? It's way, way too big, right? Way too big way too big i love the mindset that you have but uh, me personally I, I i don't know what's gonna happen in nine years time i like to keep my finger on the pulse um i have a long-term mentality but nine years there's a lot of things that can happen in nine years just be mindful of that and when we talk about price today we'll talk about where we are right now and then how we're going to break towards the 124 retest back towards 118 and then go to 140 140 major resistance levels maybe touch back down to 130 and then go towards 180 and beyond but this this looks very 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 possible that that purple line now the adoption is coming all we got to do is wait now the iso 20022 is coming so what happens is when you do proof of work versus um, you know the adoption phase, there is a curve, right? So first you're gonna prove your worth in the market and then the adoption kicks in. Well, the XRPL consensus protocol is gonna fly straight through, right? And, and it is being, adoption is coming, is coming. And it's going to be fascinating to watch it roll out. Not to mention Ripple wins US patent for new Oracle-based smart contract design. So Ripple's patent designs will allow Derivatives to settle based on external information such as temperature data. Be mind, always, always, always be careful and be very mindful and do your research around this stuff, right? It's very, 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 very important. Very important to understand what patents the companies that you're investing into are going after. How does it look? Have they been approved? Have they been extended, right? This is very, very important stuff. Let's have a look at Atani. Let's have a look at some of the indicators. Now, when we do start to look at the um, at the indicators and we're looking at the moment, right, we're sitting at $1.09, we're sitting at $1.11 just a few minutes ago, but you know, $1.09 at the moment at the time we're making this bit, Bitcoin at 55.4 and all the old coins are starting to turn a little bit green. There's a, uh, quite a, a large amount of activity that has started to kick in in the marketplace. But when we look at this, um, we can see now that uh, from the hourly perspective, 
Um, you can see that, you know, we were sitting at around, uh, you know, 111, 112, and now, you know, we're already dropped to, uh, to 109, and it looks like, you know, we'll, we'll be dropping a little bit more. So it's very, very fascinating, you know, how the market um, is moving at the moment and, and what type of moves that we're going to be making. But when we zoom out, zooming out is very, 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 very important, right? So when you zoom out, you can start to see a better picture. Now, on the hourly and the four hour, we are bearish on the MACD. And when we look at the 12 hour, the 12 hour has just turned bearish. But when we look at the daily, the daily is still bullish. And so ultimately, I think, you know, if we drop down to say maybe maximum, I can see is a dollar three before, before this uh, kickoff happens. But Bitcoin has rallied. It's come back down. Now the old coins are, are going to have a, um, a bit of action, quite a, quite a bit of movement. So that's the important part, right? You got to always zoom out and look at the bigger picture and understand whether you're short term or long term. And as always, if you don't have a clear idea, just do nothing. Best thing is to do nothing. Wait and be patient and be absolutely sure. Now, when we start to look at the drawings, we're kicking off with this, right? Because again, 105, 103 looks like a great, great support level to kick us off to go towards 130. So be on the lookout because over the next 12 to 24 hours, we could hit that target and then begin to move towards 130. And again, remember, it's not financial advice, it's not financial advisor. I'm looking at it from my perspective, my eyes, my look. And this looks pretty solid like from a, from a resistance level. As we move forward and fast forward into, you know, like into the future, the potential, what is coming, how wave five is going to look and, and the kind of numbers that we're going to be running for a long time is going to be absolutely astronomical. And I think where a lot of people are going to get caught out is in between that 12 to $30 window, right? A lot of you are going to sell too early. And especially when we peak at around, say, maybe 55, 60, and then there's going to be a long phase of like not going anywhere between that before the next breakout into triple digits. So be mindful of that, because but you will probably have to wait a long time for it. I mean, if you haven't watched yesterday's video, do watch it as I talk about the breakdown of you know how much of your portfolio and percentage to do. But as always, eye on your objectives, your goals, your financial objectives, right? Not what people on the internet are saying. I don't know your bank account. Nobody knows your bank account. You need to make the right decisions for your family always. So where are we going from a chart's perspective, right? Wave five has kicked in. Wave five is going to take us to double digits. There will be some resistance along the level. There will be some times where we drop down before we go up. The important thing is that wave five is here and we're gonna be rallying towards the double digits. We can see what's been going on here and this particular pattern is a very common pattern and that's the pattern that we're making right now and that there will then drive us towards the first uh, target of 125, 135 and then 160 will be the next one that we do, well, 55, 160. So we're ready, ready to kick off this party, get ready, break the break the previous all-time highs, patience, break the double digits. Uh, like I said, there's two things I'm looking forward to in 2021, SEC case settling and a double digit XRP. And you know what? I'm gonna get both of them. And, and remember, if you do enjoy the videos, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button as always. Thank you, and I look forward to see you on the next one.